A dog barks at passers-by. A dog barks at other dogs. A dog barks at cyclists. A dog cannot let anyone pass. If this is your problem, then you need to watch this video to the end. Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Dolzhenko, I am a professional dog trainer, and today I will tell you how to teach your dog not to react to irritants that you may encounter on the street. Please, tell me, does your dog have a weak spot or is there some irritant that makes him go wild? I will be very interested to read that. Everything we meet on the street, if we translate it into our canine language, is called irritant. A stimulus is anything. It's a dog that ran past, it's a breeze, the smell in the air, a running cat, a cyclist, a train, cars. Everything we meet on the street is a stimulus. And these same stimuli affect the reaction of our dog. That is, some dog is afraid and some dog is aggressive. Some dog wants to play with this irritant. Reactions can be completely different. Therefore, in order to calmly walk down the street so that your dog is social, so that you can take it into the town. We are engaged in socialization. Socialization is familiarization with the environment, where we show the puppy various stimuli that may appear in our everyday life. But not just show. Now look very carefully, because there will be very important information. You need to learn to focus your dog in the presence of stimulus on you. That is, do not fight the stimulus, do not chase after the stimulus, do not run away from the stimulus, but see it, but at the same time focus on you. And the main thing in this situation will be the distance to the stimulus, because if you get it too close, you won't be able to do anything with your dog, because he will be absorbed by this information that the stimulus gives him. And he will want to somehow communicate with it, or, on the contrary, run away. First, you need to choose a safe distance, when your dog sees, hears, smells, but does not react yet, and at that moment, you appear, and you should become 10 times more interesting than that irritant. You have to have a very tasty food, you have to have a favorite toy, and the dog has to conclude. There is something there, but it doesn't mean anything to me. The only thing that means anything to me outside is my owner, is my human, and he is the only one I want to communicate with, especially if he offers me this communication. If you don't do these exercises, most likely your dog will only listen to you at home, in the kitchen, when you have cookies in your hands. And it's enough for you to go outside when the whole surrounding world affects the dog, and that's it control is lost. And you ask, and then he doesn't react to anything anyway, does not respond to treats, does not respond to toys, so what do I do? First, make the treats tastier. Second, make the dog go for a walk more hungry. And third, choose the right distance to the stimulus. Because if he will be too close, then you will not succeed. And if you move to a safe distance, when the dog sees, hears, feels, but does not react yet, and that's when you appear. 
and it is not necessary to make any comments. Not make sure to your dog walk next to you or sit on the hold. This is possible, but in the later stages. The main thing in this situation is to communicate with your dog in some way and that the dog likes it much more than possible interaction with the stimulus. And you should do it your own quest. You have to go to different places, you look for different stimuli and you learn to communicate with your dog in their presence. Gradually, when you have maintained attention, you can start training. That is, you practice the same comments that you already know how to do at home or in unfamiliar territory for you. Say, in some places they do not work for you. However, the main rule that we remember is that in difficult places, the tasks for the dog should be as simple as it possible. Even if your dog is a year or two old and can do certain complex comments and tricks at home, Don't force him to do the things in difficult situations. Start with him as you would with a two-month-old puppy. Just make him walk by your hand. Just do some light exercises. Just play with toys. And gradually, your dog will learn to ignore everything around you and get used to the fact of the presence of these irritants. A classic example. Dogs that live in the bazaars, train stations, crowded places, they do not react at all to everything that happens around them. However, if our apartment puppy gets into such a place, it will be very stressful for him, and it will be very difficult for him to concentrate on it, and he must be trained to do this. If you use this method, I am sure that everything will work out for you. Of course, you can also add about correction, about some kind of punishment. But Звичайно, remember that it is possible to give this information on the YouTube channel. And maybe we can get a personal consultation. Неможливо, і, можливо, ви зможете її отримати That's all for now. Please, заняттях. don't forget to subscribe. А, поки що в мене like все. And leave a comment. I wish good for everyone. І лайк поставити, комент написати, і побачимось наступному ролику. Всім добра.